Hello everyone, Unforgiven here, bringing you another GIMP tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to extract a uh, portion of an image to maybe fine, have uh, characteristics that are fine such as hair or whiskers, uh, using a layer mask. So we'll be using GIMP 2.8. Okay, and this is the picture that I have chosen just as an example to work on uh, because it's uh, well, a dog here and there's, he's got a little lot of fine hair sticking up and if you just tried to use a fuzzy select tool to say grab a hold of the hair it, it would just take you really forever to try to get a hold of all the individual little hairs without missing any and uh, you know, when you'll accidentally grab part of the image that's not uh, part of what you want to grab. So, what you want to do is you uh, open and open up your image that you want to uh, alter in GIMP. And the uh, first thing we want to do is, if you look over in your layer and brushes uh, dialog. And if you're not seeing this, you can go up top here along the toolbar, across to Windows, and down to Dockable Dialogs, and down to either Layers, Channels, Paths, or down to Brushes. They are all within the same Dockable Dialog. They'll all uh, open up the Layer and Brushes Dockable Dialog here. And once you have that opened up, the first tab here is your layers. And say so yeah, I've opened up the image here and it's just a single layer image. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on that image and I am going to add an alpha channel. And what that basically does is it adds a transparent background into this image. So now anything I erase uh, off of this image will have a transparent, well the background will be transparent instead of being say white or uh, the opposite of you know being black. So as you can see any kind of erase, erasing that is done uh, leaves a transparent uh, background. Okay, now once we have added our alpha channel, the next thing we want to do is underneath here we have a whole line of small icons. The third from the end here is the duplicate duplication icon. We're going to click that and it's just going to duplicate our picture so we can keep our original without uh, causing any harm or damage to it. And we'll be doing the work onto the copy here. So just make sure that copy is highlighted, which it should be by default. Okay, first thing we want to do is, since we're working with a layer mask here, uh, I don't know if you've ever dealt with a layer mask, but it's basically you're, you're dealing with black and white, and not so much any of the color. Um, so what we're going to want to do is come up top here to Colors, and come scroll down to Desaturate, and this is just going to change it to a black and white. And it gives you a couple options here, there's three different options for lightness, luminosity, and average. Uh, make sure that preview is checked off here so when you click on them you can actually see the changes on the picture itself. And uh, choose whichever one is best for you for the picture you're using. Uh, I found out lumi I find luminosity uh, generally works best for me and it does for this picture so that is what I'm going to use. I'll just click OK on that. And now that we have changed this to a black and white picture uh, come back up top to colors <coughs> and, excuse me and scroll down to curves and it'll open up the curves dialog box and from here you'll be able to adjust the amount of color lights and darks within the picture itself and you just kind of want to play around uh, moving it around until you can get 
a good picture or a good shot where, and you don't really want to, you're not worried about destroying uh, the clarity within the image itself, especially what you want to extract. The idea here is to get the background as dark as possible and what you want to extract to be as white or as light as possible, uh, or vice versa. And once you get this to a reasonable level where you can uh, see all the fine little details, uh, like on here on the, on the hair, and this would actually need a little more adjusting, just a little bit to be able to see the hairs without missing anything. And I think that's just about it there. Uh, a little bit up so we can see the back end there. And we'll just click OK when you think you have that in the best possible way you can get it. All right. Now we'll come back up top here again, once again to colors, and we are going to see now. So if we invert this, it changes the item we want to ex uh, to extract to black and the background to white. Uh, you want whatever you want to extract, you want to be white. So if you are changing around the curves and the background happened to turn, it was easier to lighten the background, and the object you were wanting to extract was darker. Uh, you, it would come out something like this uh, then you would just simply come up to colors and invert that to get it the other way around so where the background is black it's, uh, anything that's black uh, will not show through and we're done here okay now once we have this your picture looking somewhat like this here with the background as dark as possible uh, you'll come over onto your toolbar your toolbox and if this is not displayed for you which it generally is by default uh, you can come up to windows and the third option down is toolbox and that will bring up the toolbox uh, dialog box there and we're going to click on our paintbrush tool now using the paintbrush tool uh, we're going to use the, the standard or the default colors for black and white uh, if it doesn't already give them to you here just by simply clicking in the corner there for the black and white it will automatically always change no matter what these are it will always change them back to black and white and uh, of course you can switch back and forth here or you can switch back and forth by pressing X on your keyboard just a little shortcut there now from here uh, you're just going to want to blacken out the background uh, of course you need to change the size of your brush helps out a little bit make it a whole lot faster uh, you blacken out your background as much as possible and to the opposite of the picture itself the entire picture all the way out to the very edges uh, and change around your brushes uh, I tend to like to use a solid brush when I'm doing the centers so it's you know a whole lot a little bit faster and when I get to do doing the edges uh, if it's a edge on a large in a large area uh, we use the larger uh, faded brush and just get right to the edges with it if I want to have it a little faded a little more for the finer come up in there and like that now since there is quite a bit here to this image uh, I'm just going to skip ahead I have just gone ahead and done this ahead of time and now once you get everything blackened in the background and whitened on the object that you want to extract uh, it should look something like this and now you can see everything in the background is black and the object itself is completely whitened out and over here on my layers you can see the two layers the original picture and the copy that I have been working on here taking off the copy uh, you can see the original picture uh, now from here we're going to click back down onto our original picture and make sure that it is highlighted and once again right click bring up the menu and we are going to add a layer mask it will bring up a little dialog box here and for this we want to use white full opacity and you'll notice it added another little box over here and it's solid white because we did choose white and you can choose between these two and you do have to be cautious when you're doing things to make sure you're on the right one when you uh, when you want to do something uh, and for this we're going to want to be selected onto the white uh, layer mask uh, once that is, we're going to come back up here to our copy that we have blackened out and whitened to extract and cut 
the entire layer. Now coming on to the original and making sure to click on the layer mask so that is highlighted. We're going to just simply paste. And you'll have a floating selection, pasted layer, along with your original image and the layer mask. And you can kind of see how it looks here. And if this is looking good to you, you don't see anything that you've missed, uh, any background, anything needs to be changed, you don't need to back up, and you're ready to complete your image. Uh, right below, on down here next to where you duplicate it, is a little anchor image. You can click there, and that will anchor the floating image onto the layer mask. And now you have extracted a an Im or part of an image out that has a fine characteristic such as hair. You can see here everything has come out really beautifully. And you could chop this in and uh, put this anywhere you want. Stick it on uh, the head of any famous celebrity that you uh, deem worthy. Uh, that is the tutorial on how to extract fine par parts of an image using a layer mask. Uh, thank you for watching. Please take a second to hit the like and subscribe button.